Hello and welcome back to my channel. And this video is gonna be a little different because the past two weeks, a lot has happened in my life. On September 27, 2020, I actually became an ordained Presbyterian minister. That's right, I am ordained, which is why I am wearing this stole. And don't worry, it wasn't stolen. But anyways, uh, I was given the opportunity to kind of share my thoughts and to reflect on my ordination journey and I figured that I'd just share it with you. And so, yeah, with that said, let's just roll the clip. After many interviews, exams, and CPE, ordination is finally here. Um, I haven't been able to think and process what this moment will entail for me in my future. But as I look back at the long years, four, five long, arduous years leading up to this moment, I can confidently say these two things. And the first, number one, is that this moment we share together is not a right, but it is a gift. Every special gift that we enjoy in life, whether it be weddings, graduation, or even ordination, is a gift from God. Uh, the second is that God is faithful, amen? He is always faithful. After many failures, I failed a couple exams, but it's okay. And I've learned that failures are a part of life, but so is God's faithfulness. And I praise God for that. Uh, we are not here because we are smart or qualified, but because God has carried us from day one up until now. And it is that truth that gives me security and the confidence to continue working for the kingdom of God. So first of all, I just want to thank my family and my friends and my church for supporting me thus far. I'm just so grateful for each and every one of you. And whenever I think about that ordination service, I just get so emotional because it took me five years to get to that point. And there were just so many roadblocks along the way. Um, you know, I failed a couple of exams, you know, like four or five, um, you know, but who's counting? And, you know, I got so discouraged. I became apathetic and I really questioned my calling as a pastor at that time and you know giving up seemed like a viable option for me at that time but as I look back I'm so grateful that I did it you know um, sometimes the way to experience God's grace and God's power and God's provision in life is really through failure and through hardship and so I guess what I'm trying to say is this you know whatever conviction whatever calling that God has given to you in life you know keep going right keep running and be confident that he who began a good work in you will carry it on unto completion until the day of Christ Jesus. So may the Lord bless you and keep you and may the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and may the Lord turn his face upon you and give you peace. Amen. And so with that said, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.